All right, I'm recording. Hey, gang, Andy here, coming at you. Pook, I had to reach for that one. <laughs> With my August 2016 update video for, you guessed it, August 2016. Ooh. So yeah, as always with these uh, monthly update videos, I'm going to be going over some personal life stuff as well as youtube -y stuff. So, let's get right into the youtube -y stuff. And I know I've been kind of quiet lately in the past month, but uh, this month I'm doing a lot more YouTubing than, uh, than usual. I've just been getting a lot of uh, new ideas and stuff like that. And uh, most of the videos I've already recorded are out by now. Um, I got a couple more on the back burner. Still got to get some stuff from the archives out that I recorded a couple months ago. Uh, so that's going to be coming down the pipe soon. Uh, I've also got a lot of cool concepts. And uh, I know you guys have noticed that uh, Andy Cade, my YouTube Let's Play series, has made a comeback. Uh, I decided to bring it back uh, just part time. I'm not going to be doing like I did initially, where it was just like a video every day. I'm just going to do it maybe like once, twice, three times at the most a week. Um, just playing a game that uh, I like and have picked up recently, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> this time I'm going to be playing uh, Asagao Academy at the time of this recording. Um, really been enjoying that playthrough. I'm making it more of an interactive and more of an inclusive Let's Play because it's, it's basically a visual novel. But there are certain, uh, I guess, flags and choices and stuff that you make to change the story. Um, haven't played it all the way through, so I don't know all the little uh, tricks and stuff for the routes. So I'm basically just making this, you know, you guys choose uh, which route that I take. And we've chosen the, John, the JonTron route. We're just going to be kind of going through and basically I play up to we reach a choice, and then uh, I put up a little poll on Twitter asking you guys which I choose, and then whichever gets the most votes uh, gets the go-ahead. So I'm going to be recording Asagawa Academy Part 2 very soon, probably later on today, um, at when I'm done making this video. So that's going to be coming out. And like I said, the, the whole concept of uh, bringing back As uh, Andy Cade, rather, is... Uh, just because I do enjoy doing Let's Plays and stuff, but when I first tried doing it, uh, I was very new to the platform, and I didn't really quite know what I wanted out of a Let's Play from me, because there are a lot of people that do it. It's a very overly saturated genre on YouTube now, because a lot of the big YouTubers got big based off of it, so uh, there's not a lot of, ground, not a lot of uh, new ground to cover with Let's Plays, but I thought I'd do it just because I enjoy doing it. I do enjoy playing video games, but I'm more of a casual player now, uh, just because I got a lot more stuff going on with the job and school starting up next month, so there's that. Uh, but I do want to continue doing Andy Cade, so I found ways to uh, streamline the process. I, you know, I'm not using you know, fancy cameras and stuff to record uh, my playthroughs on Andy Cade. It's more of a very streamlined, very simple, basic sort of thing. Uh, so I'm hoping to make more Indicate episodes in the coming months. But like I said, it's not going to be, you know, the five to seven episodes a week kind of thing like it was before. It's going to be just a couple. So there's that. Um, I'm also coming up with some new cool concepts for uh, future YouTube videos. Got one coming out. I'm still kind of, you know, messing with it a little bit about uh, learning a new skill and you know recording the process behind learning that skill so I'm still kind of refining what the video is going to be or the series of videos rather so it's still very much in a developmental stage but that's going to be coming down the pipes soon as well so now that we've got most of the uh, YouTube stuff out of the way uh, let's get into some personal stuff and uh, boy do we have a lot, of cover, lot to cover this month um, I've been very quiet about my personal life, I think, for the past month, and there's, uh, there's a good reason behind that, and that is uh, just a lot of stuff going on with school. So um, earlier in July, um, right before I think I recorded my uh, July 2016 update video, um, I was academically dismissed from WMU, 
where I was going to school at. And I found this out because after my summer one semester, I didn't do so well with that one either. I went to another uh, department, another college within the university and asked if I could switch majors just because, you know, I gave it a good try. It really wasn't working out with my computer information systems major. Uh, just the classes were just too difficult for me to balance between, you know, going to class, doing all the, all the studying and all that kind of stuff that's needed for those classes, and also holding down a pretty, pretty solid part-time job as well. So uh, it just became too much for me to, to manage. And there was also a lot of uh, financial problems with that as well because, you know, yes, the GI Bill helps pay for housing and stuff like that. But, you know, like I've said before, it only pays for the days that you go to school. So if you have, uh, say, like spring break or winter break or something like that, you don't get paid for those days. In my case, a day without school is like a day without sunshine, pretty much. So it's not as stable of an income source as some people may think. So I definitely recommend, uh, and again, it depends on your living situation, but if you plan on living by yourself or whatever, I uh, definitely recommend uh, at least getting a part-time job. And so once I got my part-time job at the end of uh, the spring semester, I worked a lot of hours, more than I'm really comfortable in doing. And so that again took more time away that I should have been putting towards, uh, towards uh, my studies. So it just kind of compounded things. So while I was building myself back up financially again, you know, academically I wasn't doing so good and it reflected in both semesters. So, because of that, I was academically dismissed. So, after finding this out, when I went to go apply for a new major, because the grades had just come out that day, and I didn't know, I didn't receive any writing or anything. So, I was very uh, surprised <laughs> by my quick dismissal. But, you know, it just, it just kind of is what it is. And so I applied for just a reapplication, I guess, to the university under a new major. And uh, I just wanted to wait to talk about this to see what the outcome of that was because I had a lot of different things going on, but I couldn't really go forward with any long-term plan until that decision was reached. So, and I'm proud to say today <laughs> that a decision was reached and I will be readmitted into Western Michigan University effective next month. So I'll be starting in the fall of 2016 under a new major. So I'm switching from computer information systems to film, video, and media studies slash production. So um, I've been doing YouTube for over a decade. Uh, it's definitely something I'm very passionate about. And I was kind of hesitant in making that sort of thing my major because it's not nearly as lucrative, at least on average, as a film major, or CIS is, is more lucrative of a major than film is, or film studies and stuff like that. But I decided, you know what, I tried the IT side of the house, uh, it just wasn't clicking for me. You know, it was just too much for me to handle with all the other stuff I got going on. So I decided to, you know, take a big risk in uh, majoring in uh, film production. Um, it's definitely something I'm very passionate about, and it's definitely something I look forward to doing. And, you know, I figured, you know what? I want to finally uh, bet on myself. I want to do something that I know I can be good at, rather than just something that's marketable to the outside world. This is definitely very much a passion project, and I think this is also going to go hand in hand with my YouTubing as well, because I'm going to be learning about all different kinds of uh, film techniques and stuff like that, whether it's just theory or a little bit of production, I guess depending on what classes I take and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I definitely want to apply that more to my YouTube videos, so that way they're uh, better quality. <laughs> now I can't make like a, a five-star stellar YouTube video every time because that just takes too much time. But I do want to make uh, some, you know, higher production videos, you know, just nicer quality 
b-roll nice music all that kind of stuff you know <laughs> all the all the niceties of youtube videos and it is something i've been struggling with over the years because you know there was that balance you have to maintain between uh just making a good video good quality video and not spending so much time on it because you know youtube does like the nice high quality videos but those videos take a lot of time to edit and film and render and all that kind of stuff and youtube also favors daily content so you know for guys like casey neistat to produce uh, such high quality videos on a daily basis that's just to me that's insane you know and i thought that he had like a team of editors you know just he would throw them the SD cards and be like, go. <laughs> but apparently, uh, looking at some of his behind the scenes videos, it's all him. And it just blows my mind how one person can do all that. But it's also kind of inspirational too, you know. I don't want to be a, a Casey Neistat clone or anything like that, but it's definitely, definitely something to aspire to as far as, you know, high quality vlogs and stuff like that. So, there's that. And uh, overall, I'm just happy with, uh, with where my life's going right now. I'm pretty solid with my part-time gig at the Mickey D's. <laughs> kind of a full circle thing, you know, because I worked there back when I was in high school and a little bit into uh, tech school as well. And now I'm back <laughs> working at McDonald's. Not the same McDonald's, but a different one, uh, nonetheless. Going to college and working there as well, so it's kind of a, a weird little full circle moment for me. I get along pretty good, I get a fair amount of hours, I'm going to be changing some things around hour-wise to uh, accommodate my new uh, class schedule because um, now that I've been readmitted, I'm still technically on academic probation, so it's kind of a, like a trial period to see if I do well uh, with this semester, and uh, it's kind of a last chance thing for me at this university really, so I'm going to be taking it uh, very seriously and I'm going to be reducing uh, my work schedule to pretty much weekends and holidays. And uh, it's not really going to impact me too much. I mean, it is going to impact me financially, but it's not going to... Uh, I'll still be okay. I'll still be able to get by, you know, with housing and all that kind of stuff, the bills and all that. So I'll still be good. But I'm going to be focusing a lot more on school. I'm also still going to do YouTube, but not as much as I've been doing. Um, I still want to get some videos out and stuff like that, but uh, this is definitely, you know, a high time for me to get my shit together, academically speaking, so that's going to be the main source of what I'm focusing on. Still going to be uh, stuff to look forward to on on the Andy San channel. Uh, still going to be doing re-uploads and stuff like that. I have uh, just a boatload of stuff from the archives to at least keep you uh, satiated until I get some new stuff out. And uh, speaking of which, I'm also gonna kinda dovetail that back into the YouTube stuff, something I completely forgot about, was live streams. Um, I know I mentioned in on like Twitter and Instagram that I'm gonna be doing more live streams. And with uh, class coming up, I want to kind of uh, make them a bit more not really, I guess scheduled, but at least give you more of a more of a specific time as far as when I'm doing them. Because, you know, before they were just kind of a, well, when I get time or when I get a day off or something like that, I'll do a live stream of me editing stuff. So, um, I want to do them more during the week. Um, again, it depends on what my uh, school schedule is going to be like. Um, I have to get that all ironed out and I'm going to go tomorrow. To Western to talk to my academic advisor about which classes I should sign up for, sign up for the classes, get that schedule all taken care of. So I'm hoping to have a more concrete answer as far as when uh, new when uh, live streams are going to be coming out. I'm going to be uh, aiming for time-wise around uh, probably 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, originally I thought that was kind of a bad time to do these kind of live streams because I figured people would either still be in school or they would be eating lunch or supper or whatever the case may be. But uh, you guys really seem to dig that time slot and I got a lot of very positive feedback from one of my recent live streams 
around that time. So I figured, you know, if you guys are cool with it, I'm cool with it. So I'm going to be aiming for, you know, 2 to 4, maybe 4 to 6 at the latest p.m. Eastern Standard Time for live streams. As far as what day of the week to do them, I'm going to do them sometime between Monday and Friday. I'm not going to do weekend streams or any of that kind of stuff because A, I'll be working, and B, nobody really tunes into weekend live streams for the most part. I've seen. <laughs> uh, so uh, let me know what you guys think about you know, doing live streams. And I also want to do uh, different things on live streams as well. It's not just going to be uh, me editing stuff all the time. I, I like doing those too, but I also want to kind of have some variety in the live streams. If you guys want to do like a Q&A live stream or just whatever, me playing games, stuff like that. I mean, I could do like a Twitch live stream as well and maybe, you know, export it over to YouTube so you guys can watch it after the fact. Got a bunch of different ideas, so I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments down below in the boobity boops. So let me know. <laughs> and uh, with that said, this is the Andy San. Signing out for now. Thinking you guys. Pook. Uh, Jesus, the camera's like really far away this time. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in to this uh, update video and for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.